Hey guys, RC here. We are back. Let's take a look at the scores up to today's episode. After last episode, the loss to Bayern Munich and the 3-1 win in the Pokal second round matchup with Freiburg. We had a 3-2 win in league action over Holstein Kiel, Jack Hunter, and Adrian Aslani with goals. Aslani picking up a second half brace, including a penalty kick uh, against Heppel, Bayer, oh, I forget what they're called, Beersheba, uh, that's the Israeli club in the Euro Cup. We beat them 2-1. to one. It's Robert Cernan and Jack Hunter with the goals. A 3-0 win over Hamburger. Uh, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but in America, that is definitely Hamburger a la McDonald's. Uh, Jack Hunter with a penalty. Robert Cernan with a brace bookending halftime. And against SV Verder, a 3-0 clean sheet. We did get an own goal. And then Ivan Serrer and Aslani picked up goals there. So we're in a good run of form. Taking a look at the league, we have climbed up to 8th after 13 matches. So we're, we're doing good trying to finish in this top half. Ninth or better. So we're right there. We're right there. Mid-table, solid. Certainly would like to get into some type of Europe here if we can. And then the win over Beersheba has us 10 points after four matches, sitting pretty comfortable. Six points clear of Charleroi, who we are going to be playing today. We'll take a look at those highlights in just a minute. And uh, Villem is the only club that can catch us with two matches left to play. So maybe my math is wrong, but if we're four up with one to play, I think we clinch our group. Could be wrong. But anyway, let me go play uh, Charleroi off camera. We'll take a look at the highlights in just a second. And then we will be back with the drubbing that we're going to take at the hands of Borussia Dortmund. Uh, not expecting a lot there. They are on 23 points after 13 matches and a plus 8 goal differential. So uh, hopefully we can get a cup win and um, at least be competitive against Dortmund. Be right back. All right, let's take a look at the highlights. It was a pretty exciting game, at least from our perspective. You can see from the average rating, we were the better side, and the score would reflect that. We started off here in the 20th minute, building from the back, and over the top from our wonder kid right back in Cernan with a great finish. We would get a penalty, and Yopek would slot that in. Yopek, I've put him on the transfer list. He is 29 years old. He uh, is signed for one more year after this one, but he has refused to discuss contract terms. So we're going to try to cash in on him. Uh, there is a club interested in him, and you saw a third goal there. And then Coley coming off the bench. Uh, that was uh, who was that? That was. Yopek with a second goal in the 56th minute. Coley came on in the midfield and had that set piece and put it in the back of the net. 20-3 to advantage on shots and an easy 4-0 victory. And that automatically qualifies us for the second round. Another $670,000. I just rested him. You know what? So I am not going to... Do that. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to send on a vacation. Uh, send on vacation for one week. You know what? He can go on vacation after we play Dortmund. <laughs> All right. So, Yopek is stellar. Two goals. Really enjoyed that. Superb in front of goal. Good. I wish he would re-sign. He is 29, so he's at that age. I wouldn't mind cutting bait with him, but... As this is a journeyman in the Bielsa mind frame, Bielsa shows a lot of loyalty to players, and I really don't want him to leave. But if he won't even discuss contracts, he isn't on the transfer list. We just offered him out. Uh, he's valued at $53 million. I think I offered him out for eighty-five. And if I get a bid for $85 million, he's gone. Um, you know, basically, I don't think I would be able to say no to that. Um, just in general. Uh, luckily, we are starting to equalize, but you see we've lost $44 million on the season already and $6.8 million this month. So, yeah, we, are, we, we really need to shave our expenditures. Six of our $12 million is coming in the way of 
player salaries, bonuses are 1.3 million. We're just overpaying a lot, <laughs> a lot. All right, well, let's get back for Borussia Dortmund in a couple of days. Be right back. I tell you what, I am finding it very difficult with um, trying to keep the mindset here or with the mindset that, you know, Bielsa doesn't like to sign players just to sign them. He likes a very small squad. Like I just saw a guy that was a free agent. And I said, "Boy, he'd be a, you know, he'd be a good third option. He could play left, left wing and right wing." But you know, we're already losing money, and I don't think that would be in the club's interest. Uh, I do. Yeah, uh, Janderson is giving me stick about leaving, and I also need to look at playing Mara more. He's more of a defensive mid. Uh, in fact, I want him to be my deep lying playmaker. All right, so we're going to go with Cernan up top as Lonnie is partnered up with him. Serrer and Vaz on the wings. Amara and Takahashi. Krasnick, Kramer, Lynch, Gunderson on the back line, and Janderson. Uh, Abwander is injured. He was injured in a uh, training injury, I believe. No, it was over S, uh, SV Verder. Uh, so he's out for two more weeks. Uh, Yopek, we're having a, just a rest today. Jack Hunter and Yashin is coming back in about four days from his injury. So a few dings catching up with us a little bit. But the team's playing well. We're actually in pretty good form. Certainly can't complain about it. Um, I know all of you, you know, the, the handful of you guys that watch this probably watch all the big names already, but um, and not that he needs a shout out from little old me, but Loki Doki is back on YouTube after a month plus hiatus, uh, almost two months because he came back and then only released a couple of videos. Um, so he is back. He's just started his single team series with uh, a tier 10 team. And this is uh, very similar to the Fort Williams save he did uh, last year or the year before where he's doing a fundraiser for this very small club. Uh, he's already raised, uh, or well, not he, uh, his viewers, his subscribers have already donated uh, $5,000, uh, which met the initial goal before the first game ever went up today. And uh, so he uh, he's up the up the goal to ten thousand dollars, and uh, hey, I think it's great that he's helped out. You know that he's helping out clubs like that. Uh, I think it would be astounding to do that. Um, so definitely wanted to make sure you guys, if you weren't aware he was back, if you just you know hadn't been following with his absence, uh, just wanted to make sure you were aware. Uh, so that series. Uh, he put up an episode yesterday to kind of introduce the save. And then uh, another episode, the first match is up today, which I haven't watched yet. Um, I had started watching it while I was building up to recording this episode. But uh, anyway, just a, just a heads up that that is up and ongoing. And uh, you guys check it out. And he is doing a real, oh, what a save by Janderson. And uh, yeah. You know, definitely a good thing when you can help out these real small clubs. I mean, he's he's. It sounded like he was talking that five or ten thousand dollars could carry this club for several years. Um, and I know he he made a big deal that he you know basically interviewed the club, the club chairman, um, making sure they were the right team to to side with here, and uh, you know donate money to a team that was going to go to good use and and not just to a chairman that was going to pocket the money or anything like that. Another big save at the near post by Janderson, and they are tearing us up here. Not surprising. Not surprising. There's a header out. Ken As Aslani's on it. Cerna needs to give him somebody. It's there, and he oh, he gets it blocked. Could have had our first shot. That would have been astounding. Or maybe that counted as a shot and it was blocked, so not on target. Krasnick, oh, some, there's some good ball movement. Cernan needs some help. He's got somebody on the left wing. Oh, Takahashi, that was optimistic. 
That was optimistic. Let's encourage them. I mean, we're not supposed to do well here. We're supposed to lose. But we're just looking for a good showing. We've won several league matches in a row. Clubs in good form. That was not good. Uh-oh. And wide of the mark, thankfully. Okay, a set piece. It's a rare near post. There's a header, and it went over the bar. Oh. Do have a couple of guys, Sorer and Gunderson, are tired. Hmm. Oh. You can't even throw it into your own teammate. What is that about? Good block, but it goes right back to the guy. And kicked out by Sorer. All right, the defense is hanging tough. You like to see that. Header out. Aslani's on it. Good. Sorer's making a run. Saren is there. Uh, we just can't buy a break here, can we? And not buy a break. Okay, what can we do here? Well, he fights through the tackle, and then he's just ripped down. All right, I, I do see a trend developing here. So let's go here. Let's take run off and dribble less and play for set pieces. Slow the game down. Oh, there's a nice interception by Sorare. Oh, he's taken down hard in the box by Ruko. He could be sent off, or is it just going to be a penalty? He could get a yellow for that. Checking VAR. It's got to be a penalty. It is. Now, does he get a card? I'm looking around. Hold on. Nope, he did not. He's still on the pitch. As Lonnie lines up for the penalty. Uh, cool as a cucumber, boys. That is good. First shot on target, and we're up 1-0. All right, let's, uh, let's praise them here because they've played really well. Good, good effort it's by Sorare just to draw the penalty. He is dinged up. Poor condition. Hopefully he can rebound. If he hasn't, we need to look at him. Yeah, he's rebounded a little bit. So, Lynch is not playing great. Amara's not playing great. Tell you what, Amara, I'm going to switch Amara and Takahashi. And then Amara for, I'm going to bring, no, Doyle's, Doyle's fatigue is low. We don't want to play him if we don't have to. Let's give, uh, let's give Sam some game time. Let's bring him in. And don't want to bring Sahin in if I don't have to. I've got to send him on vacate. Well, you know, if you're not going to play him, right? Yep, let's bring him in. All right, we'll make two halftime subs. Pump fist. No, nope, outstretched arms. Pleased with how you're doing. Couple of halftime subs. Let's drop back to balance, just not to be crazy. All right, Krasnick, good tackle. Good tackle by the left back. I'm hopeful that we can finish that we can finish in, in some type of Europe qualifying today. Or, the, you know, not today, but this season. That would be really, really good. Oh, there's a through ball. Cernan's on it, oh, and it's blocked. Sam is there, and he loses it. Come on, boys. And nothing. Nothing. I guess the good news is we aren't having to face, uh, face the big uh, Borussia Dortmund striker. Oh, what a save by Yanderson on that Janderson on that uh, follow-up there. 
Serrer lumps it in. Oh, diving catch by McCabe. Being that we're 30 plus years in the future, you know, that, that, uh, that killer. Oh, and it goes wide. I think Janderson actually played a good angle. If it would have been on target, it would, he would have probably made the save. Good job by him. And he is really pushing. He's asked for a transfer. Well, he hadn't asked for officially for a transfer, but he is demanding more playing time. And in fairness, every time I do the quick pick with to let my my assistant manager give some input, he's always picking DeVos. And I said, you know, DeVos is actually signed as a backup. So I probably need to give Janderson a good run of probably 10, 15 games really get a feel for what I've got. I know I was kind of down on him at the end of last season. I mean, he didn't play horribly, but, you know, he, he looked a little lackadaisical. Didn't make some saves that I thought he should make. And, oh, there's a big save again. But I think, you know, you got to remember, he didn't speak the language. So, you know, a lot of times you have to go through that language course to really get a comfort level in your playing to, to kind of settle in, right? So maybe, maybe. All right, I'm going to pull an early sub here because <sighs> Serrer is really dead, but now a couple of other guys are coming. Takahashi's there, but I want um, – he's not on the bench. I was going to put Jack Hunter in. All right, Pavnovich is actually our backup right there anyway, so we'll bring him on. We are going to praise the team again. Uh, I think that went into the wall. I don't think the keeper made that save, but I, I couldn't tell. I do want to thank you guys for all the comments. Oh, if you uh, saw my question, I think I've got my rendering program sorted out. Oh, that one was in there. Matko Stip Stipika, his fifth of the season. And now I'm going to praise him after they give up a goal. That's going to look really intelligent. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had to go in and couldn't. I'd already deleted it, reinstalled it, and then I tried the new version. And when I tried the new version, which is a beta, I actually got an error message about that my database was not compatible. So I wasn't sure what, you know, so I started doing some research on that and turns out even though I had uninstalled the, the file, the, uh, Oh, what a move. Oh, that should have been a finish by Ponovich. Um, the database was in a different area and it was still recognizing that because it was preloaded. So I had to go in and delete that. And when I did and then reinstalled the program, I've rendered a couple of videos and I haven't had any issues. So fingers crossed that I have gotten over that crashing issue that I had. There's a nice ball into Aslani, taken down in the box and knocked out. Looks like we got a corner out of that. Nothing came of it. Sahin kicks it over the touchline for a corner I'll be ha I, I, I'll be giddy with a draw to be fair Lynch heads it out come on boys oh good defense oh Sam's taken down that's positive yeah don't lose it don't lose it oh my god I saw the keeper not making a play on it. I didn't realize the whistle had gone. I was waiting for that to go in and cost me the match. Jeez, oh, I would have been heart sick. All right, 1-1. One, one. I'm going to say that's a good result. Everyone thought we'd be, get beaten today. Good job. Gaining points in matches like this are going to spell the difference between where we finish this year. It, it's just gonna. That's a huge result for us. I mean, against one of the top clubs in the Bundesliga. That is a huge result. I mean, they dominated us. They dominated us. And uh, Sahin, I am going to go ahead and send him on vacation for a week.
All right, so we're going to send him on vacation for a week. Krisnik, we'll just rest him for a week. Uh, rest for a week. That should take care of our two fullbacks. All right, so, yeah, $12 million this month. Holy shit. We haven't, I haven't bought any players. Gate receipts, $2.32 million. How many people are we bringing into games? Home match, 45. Home match, 44. 43. What do we hold? 42-2 seated. So we're probably, we're 100% we're capacity on seating. And I, yeah, there's nothing in there for the ground. Oh, well. And, you know, he just made another demand, and he has started six of the last seven matches. I don't know what the hell he wants. I'm just going to keep playing him. All right, where do we sit? So eighth position. Four points out of Europe, right at mid-table. We've qualified. So I tell you what, I don't think we have to come back for the Villa match like we had thought about. So we can power through that. Why don't we... Why don't I get a good run of games here? We'll do... Why don't we do Dusseldorf highlights, Union Berlin on camera. We didn't do that match earlier in the year, did we? No, we did Botcham and Charleroi. So, yeah, let's do Dusseldorf and Union Berlin. And then after the Berlin match, that's the transfer deadline, so we can wrap up any transfers in that episode. Ooh, wait a minute. Hokel third round? We're supposed to reach the quarterfinal. We don't need to watch that. I tell you what, maybe we'll do Union Berlin highlights, come back for Verder in the Polkel third round, and then we'll do transfers there as well. Yep, that's what we'll do. Guys, hit that like button for me. If you are new, subscribe, and uh, thank you very much. We are closing in on 600 subscribers. I'm looking down at my phone. That's why I'm not making eye contact with you. I was making eye contact with him, but not you, and I apologize for that. Um, but that was because I was looking at my thing here. At my thing, my phone. Uh, 598 subscribers, so getting very close to 600. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, I also noted we are coming up on 2,000 videos on my channel, which is a pretty huge number. I've been doing it for four years, and if you think about it, I'm nowhere near, I mean, you know, Loki, Lelujo, I'm only four to 500 videos behind those guys. And, you know, so that just shows, I think, how consistent I've been with my uploads and not missing anything. There were, you know, even my mom's passing didn't cause me to miss many, many days uh, for, for video uploads. So I'm very, very proud of that. And, uh, you know, for those of you that take time to watch my stuff, it just means the world to me, guys. All right, well, we'll be back. Hopefully we'll uh, know who we're going to be playing in uh, the knockout stages of uh, Euro Cup. And uh, hopefully we can get past Verder in the Polkel third round. We'll see you. Bye.